Hey kids, it's Pastor Elizabeth back, and I haven't read a book to you in a while. So the book I have for you today is called Rufus and the Very Special Baby. Now, during worship this morning, we celebrated the Festival of Epiphany, which is the story we tell when the magi or the wise men, the seekers of wisdom, that they go to visit baby Jesus. Now, Rufus' story isn't quite that, but he's, it is, they are bringing gifts to baby Jesus. And so it helps us think about what it means to visit Jesus and what we can offer and bring to him. And so it fits with the celebration we're doing for today. And you can see behind me, I have my nativity and I've added three kings coming to visit and see Jesus. And we have baby Jesus right here in his manger. Here's baby Jesus. And one of the neat things we can see on the wise men, I'll pull this up closer so you can see it. There's stars all over them, right? You see those stars? But that's part of the decoration here because the Magi, they followed a star to go visit baby Jesus. And they're bringing him gifts, gifts for a king and also gifts that prepare him for burial. So they're talking about both life and death in the gifts that they bring. But let's see what Rufus and his friends figure out with the very special baby. <clears throat> Rufus was getting ready for bed. He just curled up under his cape when suddenly Ava came running. Get up, Rufus, Ava shouted. Something wonderful is happening. Stop it, Ava, I'm sleeping, Rufus grumbled. But Rufus, I have to tell you about the baby, Ava said. Rufus's ears perked up. Just now, when I was in the field with the other sheep, angels filled the sky. They said that God sent a special baby boy as a gift for the whole world. Rufus leapt out of bed. A special baby sent by God? Let's go find him, Ava said. The angel said the baby would be in a manger. I'm going to bring him some of my wool for a pillow. You can bring a gift too. Wool is a good gift, thought Rufus. I wonder what I could give a baby. A nice bone, a smelly fish, a ball of string? No, those were gifts for a baby dog, not a baby person. Rufus thought and thought. Then he came to a conclusion. I don't have anything special enough to give a baby from God. But Rufus wanted to see the baby. Maybe he could just take a peek. So he followed after Ava. Ava and Rufus walked down the path and found Joe. Ava told him about the special baby. I want to give something to the baby too, said Joe. He grabbed a big armful of hay. This hay will make a comfy bed for the new baby, he told Ava. That's a good gift, thought Rufus. The baby will like having a soft place to sleep. Rufus, Ava, and Joe kept walking. Soon they found Hal. Ava told him all about the baby. I want to bring the baby something that will make him smile, said Hal. Hal looked at the beautiful flowers in the field. This is the biggest, brightest flower in the whole field, Hal said. It will make the baby smile. That's a good gift, Rufus thought. The baby will like having something nice to look at. Soon the friends found Yuri. Ava told her all about the baby. We're all bringing gifts for the baby, Ava said. Maybe you can sing him a lullaby. Yuri cooed and nodded. Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri headed toward the stable to find the baby. But Rufus hung his head and kicked sadly at the ground. Everyone has a gift but me, he thought. 
If only I had something special to give the baby too. And look, do you see the star? Yeah. Over the stable where Jesus was born. Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri walked into a small building filled with shining light. Rufus peeked through the door and then he saw the baby. A woman rocked him in her arms. A man was cleaning out a wooden manger that usually held food for the cows. The baby fussed and cried. Ava, Joe, Hal, and Yuri tiptoed up to the family. Joe put his bundle of hay into the manger. Ava added her wool to make a pillow for the baby's head. The mother laid the baby on the wool and the hay. Right away, the baby stopped crying. He snuggled into the bed that Ava and Joe had made for him. Next, Hal scurried up to the manger and set his flower gently inside. The baby's eyes seemed to shine with delight. Yuri flew up into the rafters and sang a beautiful song. The baby listened for a while, then closed his eyes and let out a sigh. Rufus watched from the edge of the room. Everyone had found just the right gift to welcome this special baby, but Rufus didn't have anything to give. His tail drooped. He began shuffling out the door. But when Rufus heard Ava whispering to the others, he stopped. The baby's mother said his name is Jesus, said Ava. She said he's a sign of God's love for the whole world. Rufus looked again at the manger, and then he saw something he hadn't noticed before. The baby wasn't sleeping. He was shivering. Cold air was blowing from the door and keeping him awake. Suddenly, Rufus knew exactly what his gift should be. It wasn't going to be easy. Could he give away his very favorite something? Rufus needed help. Dear God, you gave the special gift of Jesus to the whole world. Please help me give away something I love to someone who needs it more than me. Amen. Can you guess what he was gonna give him? Okay, have a guess, we'll see. Rufus took a deep breath and walked up to the manger. He untied his cape and gently laid it on the baby. Jesus blinked his big brown eyes at Rufus, then cooed and fell asleep under the warm red cape. As the friends started for home, Ava and the others walked up to Rufus. I can't believe you gave him your cape, Ava whispered. I wanted to give him something special, said Rufus, because he's a special baby, isn't he? He is Rufus, said Ava. And together they turned to gaze at this very special baby, this very special gift. Well, that's pretty cool, huh? Think about that. He had to, he had prayed for God's help to give something he really liked to somebody else who needed it more. Sometimes I wonder when you've received a special gift and how you felt about that, right? Probably pretty, pretty special. This story reminds us about God's unending love for us. And God wants to walk with us and talk with us and be in relationship with us. I'm going to say one, this is a verse from John chapter one, verse 14. This is the story. This is the summary of Christmas. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. God became flesh and lived with us. Let's say this prayer again that Rufus prayed when he needed help giving his gift. But maybe there's something around somebody around you who could use a special gift of something you have. Ready? Dear God, you gave the special gift of Jesus to the whole world. Please help me give some give away something I love to someone who needs it more than me. 
Amen. Amen. And part of that prayer is also seeing what people need. So I hope that you also, God opens up our eyes to be able to see what people need too. And then we can find that something special to give away to help them. So thank you for being with me today. I hope that you continue to have a good rest of your day and God's peace be with you. Bye.